attacker must have heard me and locked themselves in. They snuffed the light and tried to escape, but the window was too high to jump. When their attempts to hide failed, they rushed to the nearest shelter when I came in. No, don't touch me. I'm not going to hurt you, ma'am. Here, give that to me. Sorry, sir. My name's Rebecca, Mr. Copper's assistant. I thought the Headless had come for me. I heard Mr. Copper scream and I hid. Here, take his pills. His heart's weak. I'll go get the doctor.
must be the detective Halls hired. And thank goodness he did. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Engineer Halls was supposed to start the clock, but he died. The mayor, he hired me to replace Halls. Then came my turn to pay. Well, we arranged an accident to scare clockmaker Williams, but somehow he died. And the boy was injured. The mayor might be next. You must go to him. Take his watch from my glass case to prove you know me. There is no headless ghost, rather an ordinary human trying to kill the people responsible for the ceremony. One is already dead and another has been attacked. The mayor is next. I need to check on him. Let the curse begin! 